Well, this goes out to Mr. Winner's Edge Trading. Okay, now here's a classic. I don't even know where to begin with this stuff. Uh, I post this chart, okay? And this guy says, that's not simple. I have no idea what you are doing there. Of course, this guy's selling a course for $1,400, okay? $1,400 a year, and he's going to show you how to trade, but he doesn't know what I'm doing here. Wow. Okay. Maybe this will help. Okay. Here's the chart I posted. Uh, I would figure that this guy would be able to see that. I also posted an hourly chart of that on the same site under day trading at it, it FX book. Let's go to Forex book and take a look at what I posted here, okay? I'm sure he's not the only one that's uh, perplexed, but at least the other people that are confused aren't selling a course for $1,400. I, I just... <laughs> You just gotta love that, you know. I, I, nothing really pisses me off more than some some bozo who who's selling a course for fourteen hundred dollars. He's gonna he's gonna learn me how to trade, okay? Here I posted the one hour version of this chart, okay? Um, apparently he trades at the market because I watched some of his videos. Because every video is a different guy. Some guy's trading at the market, like amateur hour, right? Um, of course, right? So I place a buy limit here, okay? Um, this is based on the theory that tops become bottoms and bottoms become tops. Okay, I'm going to save you $1,400 right here. In a nutshell, okay? Walnut, pecan, you, you choose. I mean, just read it and weep. I'm not a member of Learn Forex Pro. I just stole this photo. I don't know they're still in business, but you can go there. I spend money there, I guess, too. Okay. But all my videos are free, and it's kind of funny when you have stuff for free, people just think it's not worth anything. But, oh, that's all the better to me because I would never sell a newsletter because I'd have somebody saying, well, wait a minute, the market didn't move the way you said it would. Well, <laughs> duh. Okay, but now I'm going to go the extra inch here and point out this factor this top becomes a bottom okay this is the this is a subtle thing but this there right I think we can all see that right okay let me um okay, now let's go to the uh, the way the market <clears throat> typically looks is like this okay this is the way the market typically looks now the concept here is that you see these would be your buy limits right there and uh, just this would be your sell limit. So that's what I marked here. Right? I mean, this is what I, I think I did. I don't know. God, I think I'm getting gray hair. Okay, so now here is an explanation of it. You can read this and weep too. Now, this is uh, in a downtrend. So, I mean, this is really uh, to edify the, uh, the edge guy. The, the trader, winner, winners edge trading okay how many spam people are out there is the whole internet full of spam and and bozos that don't uh, look if you know how to trade that why don't you just shut up and trade it okay you're asking me like well I don't understand what's going on there please seriously all right so that's the today's lesson right now and when I said to this guy, I'm getting filled right here because I'm not going to buy at the market here because it makes no sense, right? Well, if I buy at the market, I got to put my stop down in Disneyland. If I, um, okay, let's just go to the, let's just go to the real thing here. This is what's happening, okay? This is my buy line. Now, I don't have candles on here because the candles are ridiculous, okay? This is the closing price. This is an hourly chart. If I go to the four hour chart, you really can't see the top become a bottom very well on there. So, I mean, it would take you uh, scrolling up to the one-hour chart to see the entry here, right? Now, you see this top? You know, maybe I'm going to have to put this in the rearview mirror. Because I, 
I kind of think that, you know, it's just, it's lost on people. This is closing price. This is not a candle chart or bar chart or anything like that. And so let's see if we can't find this pattern in here. I mean, this stuff is just so, it's so easy. And I love how people want to overcomplicate this. I guess it's good because, uh, you know, it just, um, what, it keeps all the, uh, all the people out of the market or something? I don't know. Um, here, let me make this really painfully obvious. Because it seems like, I don't know, I guess I'm, I guess I'm giving people too much credit that they know what I'm doing. I'm not trying to insult anybody's intelligence by going, here's where you get in, here's where you get out. There are a lot. I would just think most traders would be like, duh, <laughs> duh. Uh, without, you know, without just losing it, okay? Um, you know, where's the first top bottom? Well, you could say here, but you wouldn't get filled. But here, if you miss the train, it pulls back. These would be the wicks on a candle here. So this would be the entry of the wicks. And you get filled on that, right? And you put your stop down here. Okay, you're risking that. You're going to get out here. Well, where's the next top? Well, you've got to get out at the last known top, right? And here's a beautiful top becomes a bottom, bottom becomes a top. It's going in a downtrend. Okay, don't need Fibonacci. If I hear one more guy say 6.18, I'm going to blow my brains out. You'll see it splatter on my screen because it's it's retarded. Okay, it doesn't it doesn't work. It, it's just it, you don't need it. Okay, you can't draw a trend line. You can't really can't draw a trend. Oh, 6.18. Yeah, you got that around your brain. You you're not going to make any money. Okay, so. You, you get in here, right? You got your stop down here. You're risking that. You got out here. I put all these things in there. Why? I can't understand. Okay. Um, okay, so you got out here, right? You took the front money. Then you got back in here. Then you got out here. Okay. And then if you if you were selling this top, right? You sold that top. You got a, you had a limit order sitting here. You don't trade the market. I guess you know. I I did say. When I posted this originally, I had buy limits down here, and I said, I would buy at the market Sunday night, right here, okay, because um, I'm going to get filled on these limits. If I don't get filled on my buy limits that I had sitting down here, I had pennings down here, right, <clears throat> like, like this here, let me, let me throw some in here, okay, so like here's a buy limit, right, and here's a buy limit, so all these buy limits that I just threw in here, Take my order. Anyways, these buy limits I put in here, I can move them around, right? So I can say, all right, I want to get in here, I want to get out there, there's my stop, there's my thing, right? Um, now, I'm long. I'm up in this trade. I, I could move my stop up, but I probably won't. I'd be here, right? And um, so I bought at the market because, I, well, actually, I bought at the market and I got filled on these things here. Because I had these, this this is the top bottom. This top became a bottom. See that? Yeah, let me zoom in. Maybe you can't see it. For the guy that's selling the fourteen hundred dollar a year, and comparing it to playing golf, you know. And please, can you get a guy without an accent, a smarmy accent, to do the thing? I mean, is everybody on some spam kick? Spam, spam, spam. Isn't there like the Monty Python spam song to go along with that? Gag a maggot. Look how many entrances you could have had here. Buy, 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 buy. I'm long 4K. If I was trading a micro, and look, I'm up on the trade. Well, let's look at the 4-hour. <clears throat> okay, let's take a look at the 4-hour. Yeah, let's zoom out. Okay. Well, what's going on here? Wow. Oh, yeah, gee. Well, let's look at the daily. Wow. Oof. Wait a second. Wait a second. I think I see something. Stop the phone. I know it's hold the phone, but these days you can't hold the phone. Okay, look at, look at, look at, look at, look at, look, 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 look. Top. Come a bottom. Oh, oh my God. It's like the Holy Grail. How does he do it? Oh my God. Like, what are you a genius? Oh my god, look at, wait, 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 stop, stop, hold, hold. Look at, top became a bot, bottom became a top, but, 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 you know, just, seriously, man, you're kidding me, right? You're kidding, oh, I don't get it, <laughs> I don't get it, Jesus, <laughs> and she will, can say, 
I know because you know why? You probably got a 200-day moving average on there. Let me get, let me guess. You got 200-day moving average. You're like, wait a second. The 200-day moving average says we're bearish. Or the 200-day uh, moving average says we're bullish. Yeah, but you got to be able to get in and out of these trades, okay? Man, alive. You're killing me. It, it, it's just too much.